comes Davy Allison to the bottom. It'll be the finish. Everybody oh, was oh, waiting for it. Oh, they they crashed past the finish line. That night, it's the Rick. Yeah. We got put in the back for the last segment, and we had, were pretty much doing what we did the year before. You know, they were side by side, and then they got together. The noise from the hit over, over all the crowd, everybody's standing up and screaming. I still remember. It just flew Thud. Boom. So we had to end pit, and the thing sliding down through there. So I, I, I ran down there. The car parked right at the exit of the road course. So I got there, and, and the there's fire up underneath the hood. So I get in there, and he's he's laid out. And uh, I said, man, this, this ain't good. So I pulled the pin on the fire extinguisher, getting ready to pull it. And then Elmo comes in there, and he's he's got his guys, and they, they get the fire out because – uh, if I'd have pulled that pin, it would have probably choked him. Yeah, the because we had we had one we had one that went to the motor, and then we had one that that went beside him. I'm I'm looking at him, and he had these old big veins in his neck, and he's laid over there. You know, he's laid over there like that, and they're they're sitting there pumping. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was the first race that we had the jaws of life. Okay. And and Elmo's over there. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna cut the roof off of it. Just we we'll leave him alone. Race is over and all that. And uh, so we couldn't get that thing cranked for the longest time. I had to go run down and get some ether and come back and <laughs> get the jaws. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> so he he was unconscious, and then him and him and Larry got in the ambulance and they went down to the Enfield Care Center. And Larry kept saying he come to, and he said, "What? What? Where we finished?" Larry said, "We won." Oh, okay. And he did that, and. Uh, but, I mean, that, that year in 92, we'd win a wreck. The very first one hot night, and I tell people all the time, we, we had an interesting start to 1992. You know, we, we started off winning the Daytona 500, but then we kind of got into a, a pattern or a trend where we were winning one week, wrecking one week, winning mm. one week, wrecking one week. <sighs> And by gosh, that night we figured out how to do both in one mm, night. Yes. We, we, we <laughs> won it, and, and then we uh, had mm. to uh, take him out of the top of the car. I, I remember mm. so vividly about that particular thing with Kyle Petty, I guess, coming off of that fourth turn at Charlotte. Oh, we're going to win this thing because I think Earnhardt had had a problem in turn three and four. Davy passed him, and of course Kyle Petty was there. We took, got the checkered flag, but we were upside down getting it. Uh, I'll never forget going to the, to the uh, winter circle, I guess you could call it, and they had Davy's car on a wrecker. You remember that? Oh, uh, and I remember your brother Robert Yates. He had. I never, I never saw him very mad. But that he, may be the maddest I ever saw him. He, he was, I, I'll never forget it. He, he, I never seen him that mad, and I, I grew up with him. We, we tussled a lot. But. And I see a wrecker with a car on it backing up into Victory Lane. Beating battered Ford Thunderbird up here in Victory Lane. Uh-uh. No, I don't like wrecks. I hate wrecks. I jumped on the wrecker and I asked the guy to stop. And he says, they told me to, and he started backing again, and I hit the side of his record with my fist. I mean, I know a bit, put a big dent in it. The next one's gonna be in your head. You're not taking this car in there. He was really mad at them bringing that wrecked car in there in Winter Circle, and Davey was in, in infirmary or at the hospital. Mm -hmm. And uh, it like you said, it was... Uh, it was a tough night, but a good night, and it turned out all right. Well, the interesting thing about that, that he had sat on the floor. Larry McReynolds, Robert Yates, and all the guys at the shop, and especially the pit crew are what made this possible. Uh, I lost some time coming into pits. I didn't have a good entry into the pits, and we had a killer pit stop. And they put us back out there, and it was enough to make the difference. And we had won, I think, the first segment, and then they inverted, and we came back to finish I think maybe top three or top four in the next segment. But we'd gotten a little bit off. The car had gotten a little bit tight. And I remember when they took the white flag, we were running third to, to Dale and Kyle. And I was a little disappointed because, you know, it's like I knew it, had I just done a better job of keeping up with the changes that we could have won back-to-back all-star races. 
But at the same time, I said, you know, we're going to finish third. We've learned a lot. We'll put some pages in our notebook. And then when Kyle and Dale drove off into turn three and Kyle got Dale loose and spun him, and when they came off turn four and I saw Kyle Petty and Davey Allison side by side, I talked to myself, I know who's going to win this draft race, and his name's Robert Yates. Yeah. <laughs> you're, so, you're so right. I, I, that was a very exciting race, really. Probably one of the better ones that we ever had in Charlotte. But uh, I'll never forget the, that night. Uh, I, I think I took the car back to the uh, to our race shop that night. Got there about three o'clock in the morning, and mm -hmm. uh, and uh, had to didn't get home probably five o'clock in the morning after that race. But it was all I guess it was all worth it in the end. I just worried about Davy, but uh, he we raced the next week. Standing by with Robert Yates, the team owner. First of all, we want to know is Davy okay? Yeah, Davy's okay. Uh... It did, did knock him out, you know, momentarily, but uh, he says he's fine. He wanted to who won the race. He, you know, gave a big thumbs up when we told him he won.